my name is Trilla Ray Carter and I am a cellist here in Kansas City. This is, this is a cello by Anton Kutz that he made in 2004. He brought this out having freshly been finished. When I started playing this one, I didn't want to put it down. I just kept playing and kept playing. By the end of the day, I asked, could I take it home and explore it a little bit and play on it a little bit more? And it's been mine ever since. Ray Carter's cello came from KC's strings in downtown Merriam. Here in the master workshop, senior luthiers hand build 50 concert level instruments each year. Unvarnished instruments made of curly maple and spruce hang from the ceiling above workbenches crowded with chisels and planes. And for more than 20 years, these instruments have inspired passion in the people who play them, like Ray Carter. Here's an opportunity for me to play on not only a beautiful sounding instrument that is wonderfully playable, but it's made here in Kansas City by a local um, artisan. Anton Krutz owns KC Strings. He is a master luthier who has been making instruments in Merriam since 1992. There definitely is a crude sound. Uh, the sound that I love and that uh, my DNA uh, loves, so to speak, is a powerful, rich sound. And so the instruments I make have, have an intensity that can fill a, a concert hall. And uh, that is the sound that is dear to my heart. And it may be because of my, my uh, Russian background uh, that uh, I like that kind of emotional sound. But uh, this is the type of sound that I work toward. I'm Monty Carter and I devote my time to teaching and performing music. I remember when I was just borrowing the instrument to try it out, and I had, I had a gig with an orchestra um, a day after I first uh, held it, and <laughs> um, I, was, I was so afraid of the instrument. It, every sound is just, was so big that, that uh, it was very difficult to play the concert. I, I was just very intimidated by my own sound and thought that I was like way overplaying. I wasn't really, I just wasn't used to, to that responsive of a sound. So I, I was hooked by then. I just had to have her. It takes 160 hours to create a violin, twice as long for a cello, three times as long for a bass. From the first choice of wood to the last adjustment, each decision determines the quality in the final instrument. The senior luthiers are not rushed by any deadline. They spend their days meticulously shaping, sanding, and finishing. And for Crutes, the secret to the sound is in the varnish. The most important aspect of the string instrument is the ground, or what's called the sealer and the varnish. The finish that goes on top of that instrument is what makes the sound, the, the type of sound that uh, string players really, really appreciate. What do we strive for? We're still striving to meet the standards set by Stradivari. What a remarkable thing. And what a wonderful way of, of connecting to the long, lineage and history of this craft and of this um, of the world of classical music. It absolutely connects us to the beginning of that. It's a real joy to have a relationship with violin makers. In the case of our friend Anton Krutz, he's not only out to create a sound that is glorious, but to make an instrument that can create any sound that the player can imagine. And just, just as we grow in our own experience, in our own development of our skills, um, a luthier never stops growing either. The wonderful thing about uh, uh, making instruments is that I know that they will be here uh, centuries to come. And, and so they'll outlive me, outlive my, my, my kids, outlive their kids probably. And, and so it's, it's, a, it's a legacy uh, like no other because that instrument will be speaking for me uh, for centuries to come. And that's a, a wonderful thought.